Good. How many of you have been to a bookstore? There's so many books in the bookstore. Did you know that there was a time period when there was, when there was no microphones? <laughs> Do you know that there was a time period where there was no printed books and then all the books had to be copied by hand? Do you know that in the bookstore, when you go into the bookstore and you're looking for truth, you want to read truth, which, which book do you pick up? There's so many books to choose from, thousands of them, thousands of them. Do they all have the truth? No. Did you know that most of the books in the bookstore have fiction? They're not true. Yes. That they're totally, it's just made up stories and, and uh, has no basis in truth, reality at all. Wasn't that interesting? You know, people tell stories about where the world comes from, where we come from. And there's all these different theories about what, where people say that we came from. And, uh, and so when you, when you look back into history, none of us were there. So how do you know what the truth is about where we came from and where this earth came from? The Bible tells us where we came from. And Jesus says that his word is truth. And I'm going to tell you uh, just a short story. And I, have I have something to show you that I found yesterday. I'm going to pass it around. Alright. Have a look at that. Okay, take a look at that. What is that? That's a shark's tooth. That's exactly right. That's a fossilized shark's tooth. And what? Hold, hold, hold it up for, hold it up for people to see. Just hold it up. So just go ahead, go ahead and stand up and turn around. Okay. That comes from a really, really big shark. About a thirty-foot shark. That's a megalodon shark. And all of the earth was covered at one point by water. And if you want to find a megalodon shark tooth in Florida, what you have to do is you have to go to a creek or a river, and you have to get down into the water, and you have to dig. And there's all sorts of garbage in the water. There's chip bags and broken glass and beer cans and all sorts of stuff like that. There's all sorts of things in the water. And you have to go past that. And then you get to the sand, and you get to the dirt, the gravel, and you get to the rocks. You have to dig a hole right down to the bottom where the limestone is. And once you get to the limestone, you dig along the limestone until you find what you're looking for. And sometimes it can take hours. And a lot of people, they go digging for shark's teeth, and they don't know that you have to go deep. They just test the ground on the top, where the beer cans are, and the chip bags are, and they think to themselves, that's all there is here. And that's how some people come to the Bible. They don't really look at it for what it says, they don't read it honestly, they don't dig, they listen to what other people think about the Bible. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so if you want to know what the truth is, Jesus says, the truth is here. But you have to come to this with an open heart, willing to be taught. You have to lay aside your preconceived notions. And you come and you read this and read what Jesus says to each one of us. And the truth is in this book. The truth is in this book. And if you dig, Jesus promises that you'll find it. And I almost forgot. This morning I have uh, a bag of shark's teeth. And uh, you can each take one, two, three, four. You can each take, um, I don't know, maybe four. And we'll, we'll see if there's, if there's leftovers after that. So reach your hand into the bag and take four each. And, um... <laughs> And I, I dug each of those shark's teeth up myself with a shovel and a screen. 
And each one of those, those teeth are thousands of years old. They come from a time period that uh, the, the earth was very different. The sharks were very different, everything was bigger. But you can see how sharp each one of them is. And in order to find those teeth, you have to go into the creek or the river where the alligators are. <laughs> so, if you ever want to go dig with me, just let me know. Uh, if, if everybody got four, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could, yeah, they could get extra if you could pass them around the church or wherever. I don't know how many there are, but probably not enough for the whole church. But, yeah. Anyways, you understand my point about the Bible, right? Thank you so much. Thank you.